Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Wealth Around Us. I know it has been a while. I've been just waiting on, waiting, waiting on my shop to finish the turbo van. We had some radiator uh, hose related problems, so we're having to pull the engine out to uh, get it done, but we're going to go ahead and do the water pump and the you know, timing belt and all that anyway, so may as well. i got a bunch of parts in, getting ready to go over there in the morning, but uh, what I want to talk about today was the Georgia Guidestones. Crazy stuff, huh? I've looked from uh, drone footage and apparently looks like somebody uh, used some kind of high explosive like dynamite or maybe even AMFO or something that, that uh, granulated stuff or a pipe bomb or something with a big yield because it blew, a, you know, a, like a 1,500 pound granite block blew it to smithereens i mean it's 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 like crumbled right now it blew some of the capstone off so it was no joke it was a it was a big explosion uh i just thought i'd go over because i've known this since like 2015 and a lot of, a lot of people uh don't know about that documentary but um yeah uh the georgia guidestones was not uh built by the nwo in so far as we know uh they they weren't uh built by the uh Illuminati or reptilians or anything like that. They were actually built by a guy named Dr. Herbert Kirsten from uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. And uh, the thing about this guy, and uh, and this is this is a private this is a private deal. These guys had a lot of money. Um, Dr. Herbert Kirsten was uh, a prominent doctor in uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. And so uh, he actually uh, was involved pretty heavily in their uh, civic uh, council. Like uh, he he designed this uh, thing, and and it turned out to be the guidestones. He wanted to put them in Fort Dodge, but the guy was a notorious racist. And uh, yeah, no kidding. Like uh, according to the historian, there uh, he would go around the country club telling uh, telling around that him and his buddies were gonna make a scale. To, uh, to basically prove that uh, white people were smarter than black people. And it was, I mean, the, the guy was racist to his fingertips. And uh, so what happened was he got with a friend of his who published a, he was a publisher, and they were like, we want to make this monument. And uh, the guy was also a big follower of David Duke, who was a white supremacist uh, pastor, or some some speaker, or something like that? He was a white white supremacist advocate, and then uh, they even involved their friend, Doctor uh, William Shockley. William Shockley was a physicist who uh, invented the transistor. So the guy had quite a bit of a clout. That's uh, some muscadine there. I'm looking at, but the guy had quite a bit of clout because you know he invented the transistor for God's sake. So. Oh, my blueberries. Look at them all. Yeah, looking good. Looking like a good crop this year. Anyways, I digress. Um, I'm getting off on a tangent. But, uh, yeah, the Guidestones was actually built. Um, R.C. Christian was Dr. Herbert Kirsten. Um, that, that's who that guy was. A lot of people think it was Ted Turner, but it's not Ted Turner. It's... Uh, just this racist doctor from Iowa who uh, had some similarly racist friends and they decided they were going to make this monument. And basically they, they believed that, you know, the black should be sterilized and, you know, brown people and all, anyone who's not white should be sterilized. They're very, real in line with Hitler and his beliefs. And uh, so was David Duke. David Duke actually wore a uh, Nazi armband out, like, like a Nazi armband wearing card carrying Nazi. And so that's what the whole uh, Guidestones thing is. That's who built it, was uh, this doctor and his couple of rich friends. And, you know, they contacted a like-minded guy in uh, Elberton, Georgia, who was a banker at the time. And it's all, uh, all this stuff was uncovered in the documentary Dark Clouds Over Elberton. Uh, you can watch it online. It's pretty cool uh, the way they did it, but uh, they, they basically got to the bottom of it. And yeah, that's that's what the uh, Guidestones are about. It's not the NWO. It's uh, It was just some racist guys from Iowa who wouldn't dare erect it in their town because their town would have seen that thing and been like, what the hell are you thinking? And so, you know, where are you going to go in the, you know, 
early 70s when you're racist and you want to build a monument to your racism, um, <laughs> you go to Georgia <laughs> right here. So, yeah, that's what that the whole thing is about. And uh, my thoughts on somebody bombing it, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. But then again, you know, <laughs> if uh, someone built a monument to, I don't know, like, you know, Catholic police must and kids, I, I sure wouldn't be sad to see it bombed either. So we're going to hopefully get the Turbo Man back pretty soon. And uh, I've got to pot another part for it. And so we should be doing that whole van life thing shortly. So thanks for watching, everybody. And that's just an update. Again, uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for watching. And uh, always remember, there's a wealth around you. Stay safe.